Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the network icon says no internet access, but you are in fact connected. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start this tutorial off by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and just right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you are prompted with a user account control screen, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then select export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range, keep it at all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select File and then Import. So again, very straightforward process there, guys. So now we're ready to begin. So double click on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder. Same thing for Current Control Set. Same thing for services. So now under services, you want to locate NLA SVC. So you might have to look for it for a little bit here. And if you can't find it immediately, you can just tap on one of the folders and type in NLA SVC. And there you go. And then just double click on that. Same thing with parameters. And then finally, there should be internet folder, so just go left click on that one time. Now on the right side, there should be something that says enable active probing. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to set this value data to 1, so if it says 0 or anything other than 1, delete it. Type the number 1 in this value data field. Base should be hexadecimal, and then select OK. Once that is done, you can close out of the registry editor. Restart your computer and the issues should no longer be there. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.